Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Corinne J and today I'm going to be reviewing this hair that Mercy Hair Extensions were kind enough to send me. So let's get started. So yeah, this is the Mongolian 3B 3C Kinky Curly Hair. And um, this is the hair in its natural state. You can make it more defined, but I don't want that way down defined look. I just kind of want that fluffy defined look. So that's what it looks like okay so first things first i do not have any leave out this is a full sew-in i have one silk base closure and one and a half bundles of hair like this is really only a bundle and a half of hair you guys like yes and the the tracks are not spaced out like they're very close together and this is only a bundle and a half of hair like here i have one full bundle of 22 inches and then you can see it's on the bottom and I have a half bundle of 20 inches. This is on the top. And then I have the 14 inch silk base closure. And that's how this looks. The closure really looks realistic. It's crazy because it really looks like it could be my scalp. Like, yes. But I had to put the headband on because since my hair is growing out, like, that was not cute. So I thought a little headband on. I've had this hair for almost a month. On the 28th, it'll be a month. And, you know, to be honest, I really, really like the hair. I like how versatile it was. I straightened it I did a flexi rod set braid out twist outs and the hair still looked great no matter what I did the thing I love most about this hair let me tell you you don't really have to put a lot of products in it for it to look nice if that makes sense or you don't have to use expensive products for it to look nice now the Mercy's Hair Extensions hair came with this brochure and this brochure basically explains to you how um, they suggest that you should maintain the kinky curly hair and all the other hair that they sell and as you can see they have a list of recommended products that you should use on the hair however i didn't have any of those products except for the shea moisture style milk and the eco styler gel i couldn't find this style milk and the eco styler gel i really didn't want to use that on weave because i need that for my hair so i was just like hmm what else can I use, you know? And currently, I just have two products in my hair, which is the Fortify Naturals Hydrating Leave-In Conditioner and the Fortify Naturals Intense Hydrating Potion. I'll link these two below because um, I have a coupon code for it, so you can save some money if you choose to get them, but they're really, really good with this hair. I really, really like it. Products, I just did a wash and go, and I just separated the hair into two sections. I just, like, drenched this in water, applied the leave-in, and applied the potion, and I just literally smoothed it on there, like... I didn't have to work it in to smooth it on there and I just let it air dry and now it looks like this. Luckily, when you use little to no product on this hair, it takes about maybe 30 minutes to dry. But if you use gel or something, it may be about two hours and that's not bad because everyone knows that natural hair takes forever to air dry. Some people's natural hair. As you can see, the hair is very defined. You really do not need any gel for this hair and that's like the best part you really don't need any product for this hair in my opinion because one time i washed it and i let it air dry and the hair was defined as if i just put some leave-in in there or some cream or something so after that i'm like hmm, i really don't have to use anything you know but one thing i do want to say if you want this kind of hair it's best that you're familiar with natural hair because if you're not it's going to be kind of difficult for you you know you guys know i'm a natural hair blogger so i'm very experienced with natural hair so i know how to care for it however if someone isn't it can be very difficult to them to wash and condition this hair i only washed this hair i think twice because i've had it in for like almost a month so i only washed it twice and i used a pantene deep cleanse with most oil purifying shampoo I like this. I used this on my real hair. I like this a lot. It feels really, really good. After I used it, you could tell the hair was like squeaky deaky clean. Like, you was like, okay then. Like, you got all the little stuff out. Like, cause, yeah. And to condition, I used the Curl Perfection Frizz Calming Complex Moisturizing Conditioner from Pantene as well. And it's funny to me. I feel like this hair works with any products because... I used to saw my real hair and my hair didn't like it and I didn't want to use my good conditioners on the weave. So I'm just like, hmm, let me just use this. And it worked really good. And I, even when I was shampooing it, I was able to detangle and it was kind of like, okay, then, like, go ahead. But um, one thing I noticed whenever I was in the hair, everyone knows that hair sheds, not your hair sheds. You know, um, a lot of people's hair sheds different amounts. But I noticed with this hair, it shed a lot in my opinion. I've dealt with natural hair, so I know to expect shedding, you know. But I noticed that this hair sheds a lot. When I washed it, so much hair came out. And when I um, 
when I would do the hair, you know, like apply product and brush it out. So much product, I mean, so much hair would come out. And when I straightened it, so much hair came out. It just sheds a lot. This, I never really wore the hair in its natural state. I'm only doing it for the sake of this video, but I didn't wear it in natural state because I didn't know how to preserve the wash and goes. So instead, I just did braid outs or twist outs, and that was really easier for me because then at nighttime, I can just braid it back up or twist it back up, put the bonnet on. It was easier for me. I didn't have to do much in the morning. I also did a flexier I would set with this hair. It was so pretty. I did it on straightened hair, and I will have that link down below in the description box. I also straightened this hair, and I will have that link down below as well. But I, one thing I noticed when I straightened it, um, when I was finished, the hair was very, the hair looked blow dry to me. It looked like it could have been like a yakky texture, if that makes sense. Not really bone straight. So if you want this hair and you want to straighten it, don't expect for it to look bone straight as if you have a straight weave in because it's not going to look like that. Overall, I really did like this hair. Since it is natural hair, you have to keep up with it. You can't just throw it in a ponytail or you can't just leave it out and not expect for it to get like messy or you know frizzy you have to actually do it as if it was your real hair i really do like this hair if you're not if you're a natural and you want to experience with like longer natural hair and have more fun with it like dye it because you don't want to do that to your real hair you want to dye it do all this stuff i highly suggest this just know just like you put in work with your natural hair you're gonna have to put some work in with this as well and I really hope that I answer most of your questions. If you still have more questions, just comment them down below and I'll be happy to answer them for you. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.